a lot of you feel numbness in your shoulder, in your forearm, and in your hand. One common probable cause for this is what we call a cervical radiculopathy or in layman's term, a compressed nerve in your neck. In this video, we are going to do a self-check for cervical radiculopathy plus I will teach you one exercise that will help you get rid of this bothersome numbness and pins and needle sensation in the comfort of your own home. Hello again to everyone. I hope that you and your family are doing fine. This is again Doc Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, I would like to personally welcome you to please join our growing community where you will receive weekly health videos on a weekend that will surely benefit our beloved seniors, you and the people you love. Let's do a self-check for cervical radiculopathy. I want you to answer yes or no with these five questions. Do you have neck pain? Do you have shoulder pain? Is the pain or the numbness and even weakness in your shoulder and in your hands only in one side of your body? Does the pain and numbness in your shoulder or in your hands increase when you extend and when you rotate your neck like this on the same side of the pain? Does putting your affected hand on top of your head like this decrease your pain? If your answer is yes to these five questions, there is a high probability of cervical radiculopathy. The first three questions are common symptoms associated if you have a compressed nerve in your neck. The fourth question is a specific test that aims to elicit or reproduce the pain if you have cervical radiculopathy, while the last question is a test specific to decrease the numbness if you have this condition. Before I will teach you the one exercise that will help you manage the numbness and the tingling sensation in the comfort of your own home, please allow me to answer possible questions that you have in mind right now. Cervical radiculopathy is neck pain plus the component of weakness or numbness in your shoulder, forearm, and in your hand. You might be asking what causes cervical radiculopathy. If you are over 40 years old, the most common cause for this is osteoarthritis of the neck. But if you are younger than 40 years old, the most common cause for this is disc herniation, a condition in which the central or the middle portion of your intervertebral disc extends far beyond its borders. With cervical radiculopathy, there is narrowing in your spinal canal that compresses and causes an inflammation in your nerve. Now you might be asking me, why do I feel the numbness and the pain in my shoulder and in my hand when in the first place my affectation is in the neck, right? Well, this is because the nerves that allows you to move and feel sensation such as heat, pain comes from your cervical spine or comes from your neck region. Now, this might be confused with carpal tunnel syndrome where you will have difficulty with gripping and you also have numbness in your three and a half fingers. Well, with carpal tunnel syndrome, we have the compression of the media nerve at the wrist joint only. You don't have neck pain and you don't have shoulder numbness. I have mentioned this with my other video, but allow me to tell it to you. If you have cervical radiculopathy, you need to avoid three positions that will make your condition worse. You need to avoid extending your head like this. Extending your neck like this would actually give a smaller space in your spinal canal, which will lead to further compression of your nerve. 
we need to avoid slouching or the forward head posture. This is very common when we are using our mobile phones or when we are sitting in front of the computer. This position is bad for you because it will further speed up the degenerative process in the spine and in your intervertebral disc and it can lead to numerous and chronic musculoskeletal conditions. You need to avoid extending your neck at the same time side bending to the area of the pain because this will further cause narrowing in the spinal canal which can further compress your nerve. Our treatment plan is using this concept. We need to have an exercise and a position that will widen the space in your spinal canal that will help with the decompression of your compressed nerve. Now this is only one exercise. You need to do this at least five times a week, at least two times a day because anyway it is just one exercise and it will really help you. This treatment plan is not for you if you already have numbness and pain in both sides of your body because that means that you need a personalized evaluation by your primary care physician. Our treatment plan should promote contralateral rotation and side flexion. Don't be intimidated by this. It just means that, for example, if you have the pain and numbness in the right side, right shoulder, and right hand, you want to look to your left at the same time side bend so that your ear approximates your shoulder. You want to hold this position for 10 seconds and then repeat it 10 times. This exercise will widen the space of your spinal canal and it will release compressed nerves in the right side of your body. If for example, you have your numbness on your left shoulder and left hand, what you need to do is to rotate your head to the right and then side bend so that your ear approximates your shoulder you need to hold this position for 10 seconds and then repeat 10 times. This exercise will release compressed nerve in the left side of your neck. If you find this video helpful so far, I would really appreciate it if you can take only one second of your time to please click the like button below so that I will know that you are learning something from my videos. Another thing that you can do is use cold compress. Cold compress are relatively inexpensive. They are cheap and should you want to purchase one online, please click down below. It will lead you immediately to Amazon and Shopee. You would want to wrap this cold compress in a cloth and then using a bandage, you place it in the area where you feel the numbness. You can do this also two times a day after your exercise. Since cervical radiculopathy entails an affectation of your nerve, you can load up in your diet foods that are rich in B vitamins. If you want to check out natural sources of foods rich in B vitamins, you can click on this video here. This is our treatment plan for cervical radiculopathy. You need to avoid the three positions that I told you and you need to do the one exercise that I just taught you. Should you have any questions regarding cervical radiculopathy, please comment down below because I would really get back on you. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.